All right, today we got our 430 auto mower here, and um, we're gonna use this baby and uh, see what's inside of these machines, see how they work, what's in there, and what does what. So the first thing you wanna do when you go to uh, look inside of one of these, you gotta flip it up and uh, get a good look out here. Um, right here we have a grommet. The 430 has the one grommet with the one wire coming out. This goes to the uh, charging plates when it pulls into the charger to charge the battery back up. The two other ones are used on the uh, the 450. They have the wires coming out of there. Get a little better look there and everything. Um, <clears throat> on the 450, they use those two other holes for the wires for the uh, the sensors on the top and the uh, the ultrasonic sensors and for the headlights. Now you could add headlights to the uh, 430 if you wanted to and you would end up using another one of those plugs where there's a you'd have a grommet going through there instead of just one of the plugs capping it off. <clears throat> so after you disconnect the wire then you just grab the body and give it a good tug in the front And there you go, you can see the body's free. Um, this is the top part here. Let's see if we can get a good view of that, a better view of that there. Um, this here has your charging plates and there's a little magnet in there that works with your collision sensors. If that little magnet falls out, it will create all kinds of havoc. So then the next step is to um, Go around here and take all these little screws out. They use a Torx head uh, screw here, so we'll get our Torx bit screwdriver and uh, zip all them out real quick, and then we'll flip the uh, top of the body off here and show you what's inside of there. Okay, on the right side here, there is a Husqvarna label. Uh, this is your, this is for warranty purposes right here. As soon as you peel this up it's gonna say void all over this thing Let's see if we can get a little bit better look at it there um, it's gonna leave foil letters that just say void um, several times all over this so you try to take this to a dealer and they're gonna know you were in there uh, it's gonna be pretty evident so you don't want to be going and taking this thing apart and just playing around in there because you're gonna avoid your warranty um, being that we're a dealership um, and this is our demo unit you know, we know what we're doing and that's why we're doing this to kind of show you guys what's in there to save you from peeling one of these apart and voiding your warranty for no reason other than just curiosity. So in this case, curiosity doesn't kill the cat, but it could kill your warranty. So after you got all that done, um, screws are all out, <clears throat> labels peeled back, you can just lift the top up, flip it up, and then back here at the back, you got your wire, uh, your ribbon coming up to your uh, circuit board in the upper half, so you just pop this out and your top half is completely free. Okay, so here's the inside. This is the lower half of the uh, the 430X automower body. Um, pretty simple, pretty straightforward, and actually pretty empty from uh, what a lot of you might have been thinking. Um, Got a wheel motor here and a wheel motor over here. Um, the 430, of course, like we always say, only has one battery. If this was a 450, it would be the same configuration down here. Um, same lower body. It would have a second battery on this side, though. Um, you got the got the main motherboard back here. This is the plug where the top half with your uh, uh, screen and uh, all your buttons plugs into <clears throat> here we got the actual cutting motor this is the one for the height adjustment there's a little circuit board down here for that up front here we have another small circuit board a little bit bigger than this one but much smaller than the uh, obviously than the motherboard there at the back so not really a whole lot going on under here um, you, like I said, you can see it's pretty empty. Alright, so here's the, uh, the top half. 
of the chassis and you can see it plain as day right there that's where that label was peeled off just void everywhere um, inside here of course is your keypad with a little digital screen um, you know where all your menu options and everything are where you do all your your programming set everything up close that up and the other important thing on the top here are these four joysticks and the reason they're so important is these front two this is what tells it if the uh, the top part of the machine uh, this piece here you know the uh, the body of the part that you see um, if this gets lifted what happens is these joysticks are what indicates that Let me get this flipped around here these joysticks they clip into a rubber grommet at each corner so they snap over those joysticks and as soon as this body's lifted up it's gonna relay a message back to the motherboard and tell it something's going on and here again like we showed you this is uh this is the charging plates when it pulls into the charging station and docks and gives the charge up but right here there's a small little round magnet there and that is a very very important piece uh, we'll get to that in just a minute but here again this is the uh, these are the the four the four joystick sensors these front ones you know they're for if it's lifted and they you know, obviously move up and down the back two are for the collision um, any kind of movement side to side front to back you can see it's gonna it's gonna activate the uh, the sensors there and it's going to send a signal to the motherboard and tell it that something was going on at one of those sensors. Underneath there's a good bit of stuff going on here. Um, this board right here this is the Automower Connect board. Um, this one was upgraded. On the other side of this there's a SIM card. So this one has the data package you know the, you can connect it to your phone and all that stuff. Um, if you buy a 430, you get it right out of the box. If you would tear it open, of course, there's going to be a circuit board in here. Um, this one is just the upgraded version with the SIM card. The other one just doesn't have the SIM card and all the good features there. And this circuit board is obviously the backside of your keypad and display. And this is the ribbon that plugs into the bottom part to make it all work together. Now we'll get back into these joystick um, sensors these two here this is the front ones that I said to you about that that work for um, the lift sensors you know they pick up if the the thing's been lifted in the front at all or any kind of movement there and there's joysticks these things have actually have a little circuit board on them and they'll send the signal back to the other boards there and tell it that there's something going on but inside of these two lift sensors in the front inside of that magnetic holder that I told you about for the charging plates um, which would ride right above this right above this circuit board that has a little tiny magnet in it a little round magnet and um, back here this joystick controller has a magnet in it as well or not joystick controller um, collision sensor joystick has a magnet in it if one of those magnets comes out or is just put it upside down or out of whack just a little bit it will screw stuff up pretty badly um, never had it happen with any of these joystick um, sensors I read in the manual that it tells you that that it will cause you all kinds of problems if you mess with them or um, take them out flip them around whatever I have had a few people that have you know they bump into this thing with their car tire or whatever, end up breaking that magnetic holder in the front, or somehow the magnetic the magnet comes out of that holder, and uh, it'll cause you some problems and make you really scratch your head to figure out what's going on. If you don't know what you're doing, it'll throw you throw you for a loop trying to figure that one out. So, and obviously the back one back here, no wires going to it. It's just a basically a dummy. Um, sensor at this point it's just you know there so you have four points to connect the body to so that's basically it here for this part of it so that's 
pretty much all of what's inside uh, one of these auto mowers. Um, on this side over here, it should say across from the, uh, it'd be on the opposite side of that warranty label. This is your alarm. If you've ever heard that thing, it's annoying as all get out. Um, not a whole lot of people using that right now. If you live in a development or something or have neighbors real close to you, <laughs> probably wouldn't make them very happy. But there are some people out there that do use them. And if something happens to their mower, everybody's going to know it. So we'll flip this thing back over, put it all back together and uh, send it on its way again. All right, screwed the top back on there. Um, you can see there's no way that sticker's going to ever stick back on there and cover that up. So like we said, don't even try pulling that off. Um, it's just going to cause you hassles later on if you're still trying to get something covered under warranty. Take it to your dealer. Let them take a look at it. Um, that way there's no questions asked, no fighting uh, or arguing over whether or not somebody's been in there or not. Um so anyway, back to putting this back together. Then you put the uh, cover on here. You get it lined up. It's spaced pretty evenly around there, as you can see. And then just give it a good little push in all four corners. And you can hear and feel it snap down on those joysticks there. So it's locked into the sensors. You know, always make sure to pick up on it a little bit. Make sure it is latched in place. Um, then it's just the opposite of everything before. Flip it over. Plug that wire back in right there. And push the grommet back up in. Flip on the switch down there. And you're good to go. So that's all there is with the auto mower. Um, that's really all there is inside. As you can see, nothing, uh, nothing too elaborate, nothing too fancy few circuit boards and a few motors um, really all there is to it